We call on President Putin to end the war. Uh, he is responsible for starting the war, and he has uh, the responsibility to end the war. Uh, because uh, uh, if uh, Russia stops fighting, there will be peace. If uh, uh, Zelensky and the Ukrainians stop fighting, Ukraine will cease to exist as an independent nation. So not speaking about, in a way, two equals. We have an aggressor, uh, Russia, and we have a country which is uh, 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 the victim of aggression, uh, Ukraine. Uh, and that's also the reason why uh, we are so clearly supporting uh, Ukraine. Uh, we, uh, the illegal annexations of, of, uh, of uh, Ukrainian territory doesn't change the nature of this war. It remains a war of aggression by Russia against uh, Ukraine. And of course, what we have seen over the last uh, weeks or days is uh, the most serious escalation of this conflict since the invasion on the 21st of February. Because we have the combination of um, the uh, mobilization in Russia combined with the reckless, dangerous nuclear rhetoric and then uh, today's illegal uh, annexation or attempt to annex uh, parts of uh, Ukraine. Together, this is the most serious escalation of the conflict since the start. Um, and the aim of President Putin is to deter us from supporting Ukraine. But he will not succeed in that. The message from NATO allies and from partners is that we will continue to support. The United States just announced today more support. Uh, and I spoke also with all the leaders over the last few days, and the NATO leaders, and they all have the same message. We need to stand united. We need to provide support uh, to, uh, to Ukraine, because this is, of course, in the interest of Ukraine, and that we help them to defend themselves. But it's also in our interest that we uh, ensure that President Putin doesn't win, because if he wins, the message is that uh, authoritarian powers like Russia can use military force and then achieve their goals, and that will make the whole world more dangerous.